A contractor bought four boxes of nails at a price of a dollar per box. Each box contained 10 nails. If he gave the nails to the two houses he was building and made sure each house received the same number of nails, how many nails would each house get? First thing I need to do is figure out the question that needs that is being asked or the problem that needs to be solved. So we need to figure out how many nails would each house get? So we're going to have to go through the problem and figure out the important information. It says here that he bought four boxes of nails. They cost a dollar a piece. Each box contained 10 nails. And if he gave the nails to, to the two houses he was building and made sure each house received the same number of nails. So he gave it to the two houses and each of those houses received the same number of nails. Now there is one piece of information here that is not needed. The cost, how much money the nails cost is unnecessary. It doesn't matter if the nails cost a dollar a box or $10 a box. It doesn't change the number of nails in each box and that will not change the number of nails that each house will receive. So to make a picture of this, we can draw our four boxes. And inside of our four boxes, we can put 10 nails each. So 10 nails in this box, 10 nails in this box, 10 nails in this box, 10 nails in this box. Right? And the other thing that we can do is we can also draw our houses right now too. So Because we said that there was two houses and that the same number of nails went in each house. So I see I have four boxes of nails and that's kind of easy to make sure that each house gets the same number and each house will get two boxes. So same number of nails in this house, same number of nails in this house. And I just wanna sh show once again how easy these are if you create a picture, if you make a picture. Now at this point, I can just count my nails and I can see that this house has 20 and that this house has 20 without doing any math. Now mathematically, what we have going on there is we have four times 10. So we have four groups of 10 nails. So that gives me a total of 40 nails. So that's the total number of nails I have. And then those 40 nails are split into two groups, which are the houses, which, which, make, which gives us 20 nails in each house. The other thing that I can do is after I make my picture, I can see, hey, this house here has two boxes of nails. Each of those boxes of nails contains 10 nails. So I can do two times 10 equals 20. So there's 20 nails in this house. So there has to be 20 nails in that house as well. So each house will receive 20 nails.